Made it. Yes. Welcome back to another episode of Earthling Nutrition. I'm out on a trail hike as usual, and I just wanted to tell you how freaking beautiful you are. Seriously. Often we judge ourselves by how we look on the outside. Do you realize how many cells you're made up of? It's not just you in there either. There's 300 to 500 species of bacteria living in your gut right now. You know, you guys are in this together. If you're alive, you're doing pretty well. All these cells have collectively worked together to form organ systems and tissues for you. And somehow, whatever you want to believe, whether from a stoic perspective or spiritual or whatever, you have a consciousness and you're able to go through life and experience things. And it doesn't matter what you look like, who cares? You know, our eyes are made for so much more than just judging whether something is normal or not, or whether it measures up to how other things look. You know? We're sensory creatures. We have ears and eyes and noses and tongues to experience things at a deep level. If we, you know, it definitely it matters what we see. You know, otherwise we wouldn't have any eyesight. And if we didn't have any eyesight, then would you even care what you looked like? No, you would just worry about how you're feeling, what you're, what you're thinking and what you're hearing and what you're smelling and, you know, all these things. But luckily, we do have eyesight and it shouldn't be used to look at ourselves in the mirror and think, oh, we're ugly, you know? Like, we don't look as nice as this other person. Are you kidding me? Are you actually seeing yourself? I don't think so. I mean... If you want to look at yourself, then go find a microscope. Go get a little, uh, a little Q-tip. Take a swab of your cheek. Go look at your cells underneath of a microscope and realize that. Holy man, oh, there's a woodpecker. Okay. I don't know if you can see it. I can definitely hear it, though. Wow, that's cool. Um, yeah, go look, at, look, go look at your cells under a microscope. Go look up on Google what your heart looks like. Understand that. The fact that you're alive, the fact that you have cells that are kicking it, and they want to live, and collectively they're working together to make your entire organism live, and that your body is a house for other species to live in. You know, like all these strains of bacteria, and, uh funguses that live in your body you're just a walking slab of life and it's awesome how could you not feel beautiful with that all right I know it's not that easy I know that you know with other people there's always going to be judgments and I know that maybe some people have told you even that you're not beautiful, or that you don't look, you know, as good as so-and-so. Or maybe it's just yourself telling yourself that. But do kids even think about that? Like, when you're a little kid, do you even worry about what you look like? I think that it's social pressure, mainly. And then just, we always kind of compare ourselves to other people. That's okay, that's natural. But honestly, guys, you will be so much happier if you just don't give a fuck, you know? It's just so much better. You just, you gotta do what makes you happy. And you may not know what that is right now, but it sure as hell isn't working yourself to the ground so that you can be whatever number on a scale. It's just how you feel. And that will reflect upon the way that you look, believe me. If you're treating yourself well, and one of those ways is by 
doing things for your health, that's going to reflect on the outside of you. Guaranteed. If you're worried about the fact that you have a bunch of pimples on your face that won't go away, or you have like a roll on your stomach that, you know, you really don't like, it shouldn't be because you're thinking, oh, I'd hate for other people to see this because it's embarrassing. You know, acne is a sign that maybe your integumentary system is not healthy. Your skin is, something's happening on it. Maybe there's an excess of bacteria or maybe you have excess fat because you have been feeding your body things that it can't really use efficiently so it's just been storing them. But either way, like, that's okay. Like, you know, none of these things are permanent. And if you just put thoughtfulness and mindfulness and love into making yourself better for yourself, then that is going to make you beautiful. You know, nothing else matters. Putting your passions and your, you know, your energy into something that makes you feel just warm and happy, you know, happiness is a state of mind. And I mean, you can feel happy no matter what you're doing unless it's something extremely awful, but, you know, happiness is a state of mind and we can influence the state of mind by putting ourselves into situations that make us happy and by, you know, actually willingly thinking happy thoughts. And so, you're going to feel your most beautiful self when you're doing things for other people, when you're doing things for yourself, and when you're just living life in an effortless way where you're not, you know, obsessing over something as trivial as how you look in the mirror or how you feel that others perceive you looking like. It just, it doesn't make any sense. You know, you should learn about your body because once you learn about how spectacular it is and all the trillions of reactions that are going on right now in this millisecond, you realize how truly beautiful that is and how could you not feel that way about yourself. So that's my tips, I guess. That's a really nerdy way of emphasizing how important it is to, to feel beautiful with yourself. Um, but yeah, you know, have a great day, guys. And we'll catch you next video. Bye.